Welcome back for some more Generation Zero, and it got a little bit more exciting. Yesterday, we were trying to crack the code into the FOA secret forum, and, well, it happened. We're in there. There's some cool stuff in there. Now, massive thank you to everybody in my Discord. Everybody put some stuff together, and uh, there was a few people that figured it out. So, big shout out to everybody there. If you haven't joined the Discord, it is in the link tree down below. So today is just a short one. We're going to have a little bit of a look at what is inside this. I'm not going to go through all the discussions and anything like that, because some people may not have been in there. We will look at the screenshots that are in there. We have seen two, but there are two new ones. So, what these could be, I'm not 100% sure. I do like it, though. The first one that is in this Discord chat is this one here, the CCTV screens, which we have already seen these and figured out roughly where they are. We know that that is FOA2 there. This, I believe, once again, is some sort of entrance underneath FOA2, which leads down into that, which the sort of big access hole opens up into. We already know that FOA Tor... We already know that FOA2 and FOA4 are connected. You can see that by the numbers that are in FOA4, by the uh, the actual hatch itself, they do link back to FOA2, which is assuming how the Reaper ended up on the main island. Now, what we don't know about these screenshots is obviously this one, as I've already mentioned, FOA2. I did get the numbers mixed up in my previous video, so I do apologize for that. This one here, some sort of tunnel network I do... I believe this one, I did mention in my last video that this is some sort of control room or bunker or, or, or main room that we have in the normal bunkers you go to and get your objectives. But somebody did say in the comments of that video that this is actually a shot of the room where this is located. So obviously that is the window which is here. And then you can see like a little block there. You can't really see it too clearly, but there is a sort of block there, which is this set of monitors. And then obviously all the dials and gauges are these ones here. So yeah, that does stack up. I do think that's right. Obviously, I still think this is an external shot of this actual window here. You can see the cooling tower there, which is this one. Then that one in the background, which is that one there. You can't see this because it's at an angle which is uh, a little bit further to the left of what you're seeing as you look out of the window. So some cool stuff there. We don't know too much. It doesn't really give too much away. Then we have another screenshot, which is this one here, which, um, as mentioned already, is on the new island. You can see the hills up here in the distance and the mainland over there. So, once again, that does bring us to the correlation that it is one of the two islands, either the small one at the top or the one all the way on the left-hand side. Now, I do have a bit of a change on that one, and I do think it could be the one on the left rather than the one on the top. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it is the big one, because, as mentioned before, they've said it's not as sprawling as Himfell. So that could just mean there's not as much on it, but it is bigger in terms of land mass, but it could also mean that it is a smaller, more densely populated island. There are so many ways that that can be taken in itself. I'm really not 100% sure on how to actually take that one. I don't know. Not too sure. Let me know your thoughts on which island you think is in the comments down below. It's got to be either that top one or the one on the left. I don't think it is the big main sort of major separate island. Um, I, I highly doubt that. That island is massive, it's bigger than the farmlands region itself, so that would make that the biggest region in the game. Then we have this one here, which is a new one. Now, I don't know what this is, I do have a theory, but there's no way of proving what that theory is. Obviously there's a door here, a keypad here, some sort of CCTV up there, which I do think is going to be like on the normal doors. It will swing around, give you the lasers, then the beep, and then this door will open. Looks very similar in size to the bunker doors. And then, as you can see, there is a truck here. You can't see it very well because it's relatively dark in the image. But this is uh, one of the normal green military trucks that we see at all of the bases. And as you can see, we've got these lights going up. I do think this is the bottom of... Whatever is in FOA4 and FOA2. I'm 100% convinced that these lifts or shafts are something we go on, you drop down, and then this is a door at the bottom that leads to an extensive tunnel network underneath the whole of Osterton. Uh, the, the whole of our, everything, it connects all of the islands together. And 
as mentioned, I've I mentioned it, what, two years ago, that I do think this was just before the Reaper came out, actually, so it's probably more than two years ago now, and maybe even four. But I do think that all of the islands are connected by that underground network, and FOA4 and FOA2 sort of confirm that theory, that this underground network is there. Um, it's not something I don't think we'll ever see flourish. Obviously, this is the last update, which is a shame, because having some massive underground network... Something similar to the Division where you go in and you do the missions underground. I can't remember what the mode was called. Pretty sure it was on Division 2. And that was a really cool sort of just segue. And I think this could be something really cool as well. But either way, that's the door. It looks pretty cool. Um, not too much there to give it away. Obviously the big light. So I do think this goes up a lot further. So the, the lift area could be where the person taking the photo is from that perspective. Or it could be inside this what looks to be some sort of shaft. Really not 100% sure on that one, but that is my theory that this is way underground. And then that is confirmed by something that was added to this Discord just a few minutes before I started recording this video. And that is this one here. This image is called The Tunnels. So I am 100% certain now that this all is connected together. As you can see here, this looks like some form of opening here. Um, or this is probably underneath something. But going by all of the wire in here, this gives me Phoenix vibes. 100%. I have vibes. 100% Phoenix. Gotta be. Um, but yeah, I do think this is definitely tied in to FOA2, FOA4 in some way. This is definitely a tunnel system underneath all of the islands. And whatever is inside this tunnel system... I don't know if we're going to actually get to explore it, go down through FOA2 or FOA4, explore under there, and then come out on the new island. Not 100% sure. I do have a feeling it's just going to be go down, a little bit is there. So that doorway that we've just seen could be the entrance to the new island. But I, I, I don't think it's going to be a massive extensive network underground. I think you're going to go down on one of the lifts, and then when you get down there, you're going to have a little bit of a run around, like a little bunker. And then you're going to go through a door and it will bring you into the room with the other door that we've just shown the image of. And then that will lead to a set of stairs or another sort of elevator shaft. And then you'll be on that next island. That's my theory so far. We will get some more images, I believe. I do hope. But them teasing all of this does give me a cue that the update is going to be a lot sooner than I originally thought. Um, I did think it was going to be sort of end of December, uh, just before Christmas, or maybe even they'd do something in the start of next year. But I do think with all of these screenshots coming, they are teasing it very, very soon. So we could see something in November. I'm not 100% sure whether that's a good thing, whether that's something I want. But this update has obviously been in the works for a long time now. Uh, it must have been, what, two months ago that Carney was putting in the notes that they are working on something very big. So this has been known for a long time, and this is something that has probably been worked on for many, many months. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you also figured out the password? Let me know. If you want to know what the password is, join the Discord server. Check it out there. Um, but it's definitely more fun if you work it out yourself. It is one word. It is in Swedish, and it very much relates to Generation Zero. Have fun. Let me know what you've got. Have you figured it out? Let me know your thoughts and feelings about these photos. For now, we're going to wrap that one up there, and we'll be back when we have some more news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.